Okay, um, so I'm going to try and explain how to answer this Venn diagram question. Um, I've changed the numbers um, slightly on the question that I was given. Uh, that might be frustrating, but I'm, I'm hoping you're going to um, learn something from what I say and be able to adapt it to, to answer the question with the numbers you're given. Okay, uh, I have to start by saying this is not the easiest uh, Venn diagram question, um, especially if you've never done any uh, ones with uh, two sets. This is a three set question. Um, and uh, the very last bit down here, this very last sentence about all girls less than seven years old like reading, um, you really have to understand Venn diagrams really well to sort of uh, be able to cope with that last bit. Um, so I think it's uh, a little bit of a tricky one. But um, we can actually ignore that because that sentence doesn't give you any hard facts, um, well, n number facts anyway. Um, so uh, I'll try and explain that one right at the end. Um, uh, but, you know, that does make the question a bit tricky. Okay, so let me try and uh, explain. I've got my paper here, so I'm going to write some things on it. If you read uh, all of the facts you're given, um, you can sort of boil it down to you're either given whether uh, the children in this class are boys or girls, so that's their gender. You, are, you know whether they like reading or enjoy reading, as it says. And presumably if they don't enjoy reading sadly they probably uh, don't so enjoy reading or not um, and then the last one you're given is whether they're seven years or older or not which would be younger than seven of course so I'm going to write younger than seven rather than not but you don't see that language in the question. It's just they're either seven years or, or older or they're not. There's, there's nothing else you could be. Okay, so you've got uh, two options here in terms of gender for every child. You've got two options here and you've got two options here. Okay, now if you think about all the different um, types of people you could be, you could be this or this, this or this, this or this. Okay, you've got two options for each of these things. You don't need to understand really what I'm about to show you, but that would mean that there are two times two times two, there are eight different categories you could be in. You could be a boy who doesn't enjoy reading, who's seven years or older, that's one of the eight. You could be a boy who enjoys reading, who's younger than seven, that's another one of the eight. And if you started writing down the list of, of all the different categories you could be in, um, and you managed to write all of them, you would realize that there's eight different sort of um, types of people you could be under these things. Okay, you don't really need to understand too much of that, but I'll show you why I mention that in a minute. So what we do is we draw this Venn diagram. We have three intersecting circles, and you should obviously draw these more neatly than me. Maybe draw around something. Uh, I should have probably drawn around this pepper grinder that would have been a good or salt grinder that would have been a good idea um, anyway we'll we'll move on so this first circle I've drawn here I'm going to call the uh, the boys because there's lots more information in the question over here about boys it talks about boys a lot uh, it doesn't talk about girls you could make it girls but it, it would be a bit more difficult um, so we're going to call it boys over there it, it talks about seven years or older a lot it does never mentions younger than seven so we'll have this one as seven years or older and over in the text there it talks about um, enjoying reading okay in fact at no point does it say not enjoying reading um, so this last one here will be enjoy reading Okay, so we've got our, uh, our three circles. Now then, you'll see in the uh, pictures on the worksheet, this picture here that's sort of cut off, uh, we need a box around this. And I'll show you why that is. Remember I said there are eight different uh, sort of categories you could be in. 
If you count up how many spaces are in the Venn diagram, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've only got seven spaces to fill. This space outside the circles is the eighth space. And uh, well, you could pause the video and try and work out what type of people go in this space, if you like, right now. I'm going to imagine you are pausing the video and now I'm going to tell you what type of people would go in this space. Okay. Well, they have to be girls because all the boys are in this circle. They have to be younger than seven because everyone seven years or older goes in this circle. And they have to not enjoy reading. So here are the girls who uh, are younger than seven and don't enjoy reading. Uh, we don't know anything about those from, from uh, the wording of the question, but that's what this category here is, outside the circles. Let's not worry about that. Let's start filling in the circles. Every time you do one of these questions, you start off by trying to fill in the very central one, the one right in the middle, the one that overlaps all three. So let's have a think about uh, who these people are. It's just annoying me that that just says B rather than boys. So I've changed it to say boys. So what? who are the, in this category here, this, this central one? They are boys who enjoy reading, who are also seven years or older. Now we hope that that information is in the question. You start looking down these facts, and at the very bottom, that's the longest sentence, that's likely to be it. Six children are boys who are seven years or older and enjoy reading. And that's this one here. So we're gonna put that six in there, okay? Uh, it's slightly frustrating because that's often the very last fact given in one of these questions. All right. And if they wanted to make it easier, they would have put that question in that sorry fact in right at the start. They didn't. Anyway, you always start with the middle. Okay. There's a, a reason for that, which hopefully we'll see in a minute. And I think what we're going to do now is just see if we can work our way back up the list, filling in things, because the questions are often written that way that you either work down the list or work up the list. If they want to be mean, they can make the questions sort of go, the facts go all over the place. But I think they've sort of been relatively nice, at least here. So let's move up to the fact above. Seven children enjoy reading. Uh, seven children enjoy reading and are boys. So we need to look here where the boys who enjoy reading are. Well, here are the boys. Here are the enjoy reading. It's this one. But it's also this one as well, because these six people are definitely boys who enjoy reading. They happen to be seven years or older as well, but that fact there doesn't say anything about age. So these two numbers have to add up to seven. The common mistake is to put seven there. Um, so this number is actually seven minus six, it's one. Okay, that is the most crucial bit of Venn diagrams. Okay, and that's where uh, most people tend to go wrong. Let's move up one. Seven children are seven years or older who enjoy reading. Seven years or older who enjoy reading, and it's seven again, so that's these two. Uh, so this is a one again. Okay, I probably should have chosen different numbers, but let's stick with what we've got now. So this is a one again, so we've got seven people here who enjoy reading and are seven years or older, just as that says. The one above, eight children are boys who are seven years or older. Boys, seven years or older, it's these two. So this is two, eight minus six. 14 children enjoy reading. So the whole of this ring has to add up to 14. So far we've got seven, eight. What do we have to add on to eight to make 14? It's six, so we're gonna put a six there. Um, and I would tick these off as I go along, to be honest, I can't uh, do that, I'm afraid. Moving up, 16 children are seven years or older. Here's your seven years or older, we want 16 children. So far we've got six, eight, nine. 16 minus nine is seven. So we want seven children in there. And the very top fact, 21 children are boys. So far we have eight, nine children. So to get that up to 21, we want 12 more. 
All right, and you could of course check that these numbers do add up. 13, 19, 21, yes they do. So we filled it all in now. All right, um, and the question is altogether how many children are there in the class? Okay, uh, well you could just add these up and that will give you the answer. Now, hopefully you're kind of wondering, but what about uh, this eighth category here? Well, because of that last comment, all the girls less than seven years old uh, like reading. Okay, these people here are girls and they're less than seven years old and they don't like reading. Okay, think about the circles we've drawn. They're not in the boys circle to the girls. They're not seven years or older, so they're under seven. Let's, let's write this down. Girls, under seven, and they don't enjoy reading because they're outside this circle as well. And if you read that last sentence again, it tells you all the girls less than seven, so all the girls who are under seven enjoy reading. So no one doesn't enjoy reading. So there's actually a zero here. And this is the whole reason why I don't really like this question too much to uh, start people off with Venn diagrams. But that will be a zero. So the answer to the question, how many children are there in the class, is just all these numbers added up. Uh, it's, well, I'll, I'll, I shall write it down. 12 plus 2 plus 7 plus 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 6, uh, might as well write plus 0, 14, 21, 22, 28, 29, 35 in my case. There are 35 students in the class. I write a better sentence than just writing 35. And you're better at English than me, so you'll put there are at the front of it. Okay, and that would be the answer. I hope this helps. Uh, if not, send uh, somebody a text message or a uh, Facebook message and we'll hopefully sort out any more problems.